Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, last week for my Saturday video, I did a draw this in your style challenge where it was, it's mostly an Instagram thing that's going on right now, where it's hashtag draw this in your style, where a bunch of artists all over Instagram are challenging other artists to draw their characters in their own art style. So last week I did a challenge on Neapolitan Girl, which I just created because of ice cream in summer, just an original character for the summer of 2018. So I challenged a bunch of people and I went ahead and I put that up on my YouTube channel last week. So if you haven't seen it yet, go and check that out. So I said to give everybody more of a fair shot, I was gonna do another one of these videos. So I posted it on my Instagram as well as a community page on YouTube of the picture of mint chocolate chip when she was finished. And I went ahead and I gave everybody at least like a two days in advance. I, I posted it on Wednesday and then I gave everybody till one o'clock today on Saturday before I said time's up. And it's just amazing because I got a hundred and two recreations in all these incredible art styles of mint chocolate chip. I mean, I was just blown away every time somebody sent me something on Instagram. It's just amazing. Even I'm still getting pictures of Neapolitan girl and I'm just, I'm just completely blown away. There are so many incredible art styles out there. Now I've seen a lot of people like sending me messages recently that aren't related to recreating these characters. It's just in general finding your own art style. And I mentioned this in Neapolitan Girls video, so just bear with me if you already heard this already. <laughs> to find your own art style, the way I found it was I recreated references of original concept sketches from Disney movies. So I recreated the Tangle concept sketches, I recreated Frozen concept sketches, um, I recreated Inside Out concept sketches. I'm just obsessed with concept sketches in general and getting the books from Barnes and Nobles or Books A Million or Amazon, um, the art of, and you can get all those on Amazon and they're pretty cheap. And I just always ask for one for my birthday or for Christmas from my parents, just as a, just as a gift is. So I got like the art of Frozen, the art of Tangled, the art of Trolls, the art of Moana, the art of Inside Out, the art of Zootopia. You can get any of these books on Amazon and they're about $40 a piece. So it's a great Christmas and birthday present. Take my idea and just start your collection. I mean, that's two books a year. So if you do your birthday and Christmas and you ask for a book, that's two books of art of and just read it and look at it and copy the concept sketches. So this is mostly important. I challenge you all to get yourself a sketchbook and to challenge yourself to fill it up within a time period. Just draw every day. The more you draw every single day, I'm not exaggerating, the better you'll become as an artist. And that's what helps you develop your style when it comes to, well, how do I get my own animation style? Now, what's the point of me saying that, hey, what do you mean, Priscilla, when you mean just recreating and copying other people's art? I found that if I copied somebody else's art, which was the original Disney artist of all these movies, I started to see a change where I could kind of like look at these characters and I saw that they didn't look exactly what they were looking like on the page. Now, it wasn't that it didn't look right. It was just, it looked like it was kind of my own thing that was going on. And then I got more and more comfortable on doodling original characters on my own. Now, when it comes to just drawing and making up original characters, all you need is a prompt. I mean, I'm looking at ice cream flavors for these artists. For not these artists, I'm so sorry. For these characters, they're just ice cream flavors. That's all you need. And I actually did a whole series on my Instagram of flowers, different flowers, original characters. Now the things about the flower original characters, there was like, you know, just iris or rose or just typical ones. If you want my idea, take my idea of creating your own characters based off of flowers. But all you need is just like a couple of words or base your characters off of animals. If you draw animals, then draw animals 
resembling flowers or ice cream flavors? I don't know. The, the options are endless when it comes to creating your own original characters. I you could look at the pinata in the store aisle at Target in the birthday party aisle and create a pinata character. It's up to you. It's just that creating original characters does not have to be fancy. You don't have to have a whole backstory laid out for them. It's always best to just try to open up your mind and try to create something of your own. That way you're creating something your own of your own and you're also practicing in your own drawing art style. It's very important that you just just get a sketchbook drawn every day. I don't know how many times I'm going to say this. I cannot stress it enough how much it means to you for your art career to draw in a sketchbook every day. There's a million of these amazing challenges going on right now on Instagram of draw this in your style. Some really popular artists are still going and putting up new characters for you to draw. It's amazing to look at and just get in there jump on Instagram, search the hashtag and look for one that you like and just draw about 20 on one page of your sketchbook. Doesn't have to be fancy. I've seen a lot of artists, like in my last video, I saw one girl who was doing about 20 on one page of Draws in My Style and then she like took a little screenshot of her, of the one that she did of mine and I just went, that's brilliant. And I've already recreated three draw this in, in your style in my sketchbook just because I want to and they look they look fun so I go ahead and I draw them in my own style so yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed this I have enjoyed these amazing sketches of Neapolitan girl as well as mint chocolate chip girl these are just amazing I love them all so much I'm so happy you all participated I would love to make this a monthly thing so I, I would love to put like a challenge on my Instagram. If you want to participate in the next video that's exactly like this, I'd draw this in my style. Or maybe I could like do a challenge where uh, what Casey Golden did on her YouTube where she went and she picked two of Draw This In My Style, but she picked one of your guys's Draw This In My Style. So I'm thinking about doing two. Might mix it up and I might pick other people's characters to redraw my own style. Might do that in the future video in a couple of weeks or something because next week I plan to do a sketchbook tour and it's going to be so much fun. And I can't wait to show you guys all the other challenges that I participated that I picked other people's characters and drew them in my style. Thank you so much, everybody, for sending me these beautiful pieces of artwork. You all are just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So many talented artists out there. But yes, make sure you follow me on Instagram for the next couple of challenges. I'd just love to go and make this a summer 2018 thing. This whole theme, I love it. And I hope to see you guys later in the future. Thank you once again for everybody who participated with Mint Chocolate Chip Girl and Neapolitan Girl. And I will see you all on Instagram. Bye! And on YouTube, of course. Duh! <laughs>